What's up, motherfuckers? And we're back. And I love the title of this bit that Andrew Schultz did. So, first and foremost, you guys should know who Andrew Schultz is because we've done a shit ton of fucking reaction videos on Andrew Schultz. If you haven't watched any of them, go back and watch them. They're pretty fucking hilarious. Um, he's got a fucking, he's got a Netflix, uh, show on Netflix. I forgot what the fuck it's called. He's got a podcast with Charlemagne. He's got a podcast with, I'm not going to fuck up his name, but it's called, um, fuck, I forgot what it's called. But he's got a couple podcasts. Um, and he's stand-up comedian. So the title of this bit is called Virgin Girl Learns What It Feels Like. Let's just get into the bit. This is gonna be good. Oh, Schultz saves America. That's what it's called. We're supposed to abstain. Did you guys abstain from sex? You did? For no. how long? Hold up. Before he starts off, I think I got more pussy. Oh, shit! No timelines. Fuck. Is, did I cheat? I gotta make sure I didn't cheat in these time frames. <laughs> Shit. Fuck! <laughs> Nobody's gonna know, right? Okay. I think I got more pussy during COVID than when it wasn't COVID. Okay, was I dating her during COVID? I think I'm good. <laughs> Fuck. To her family. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, shit. You still virgins? Let's go. You're a virgin, he's not. Sweetheart, you've been cheated on. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, before. Thank you to our sponsors, Bumming Guitars. And thank you for this great food and vodka. Forgot oh, that. Oh, thank God. I don't mean to snitch on you, bro, but that was crazy. <laughs> so you had sex already. You haven't. Yo, this guy commends this guy right here. Round of applause for this guy. <laughs> Round of applause. Because, nah, you don't know how good dick is. Oh. He knows how good pussy is. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. You're like a Chinese person with freedom. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He talking about your people. <laughs> Publix cake. Mar Publix marble cake. Sweetheart, you are one sheltered, beautiful little lady. What a beautiful, <laughs> sweet girl right here. Publix marble cake is your favorite dessert? Come on, Atlanta. Ain't there something that gives you a heart attack that you can take this girl to go get? <laughs> she don't want nothing that starts with a D. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so imagine you had Publix marble cake, which sounds like a punishment. <laughs> but I'm going to go with you. But then buttercream icing on top Ooh. at whatever temperature Ooh. you wanted. <laughs> you just had a meal that you've been having that for your whole life, right? And then all of a sudden, you can't have it anymore. Bummer, right? Now imagine every night you went to sleep next to it. <laughs> oh, uh, it's smelling it. You sleep next to it. Sometimes it would rub up against you. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, right? shit. And it, sometimes you're dreaming. You're like, oh, my God, I wish I had some buttercream cake. I wish I had that. Publix buttercream cake, and all of a sudden, boom, some hard buttercream yep. cake is just getting pushed up against you, right? And then you just gotta say, no, no, no. And then instead of eating the buttercream cake, someone just mashes the buttercream cake oh, by itself shit. until it's only cream left. <laughs> Must be so sad for that guy. I'm just I mean, saying, this is what this man he told. loves. That's her, he loves you. He loves you. Or he's getting shit on the side. That's what it's like. Vagina is amazing, even though that shit looks weird. 
you think penises look weird, but there's so many penis like things. Hold like on. This, like bananas. Hold on. So, you just brought up a good point. Penises do look weird. I swear to God. At a younger age, I never noticed that. Now that I'm older, I've looked at my dick plenty. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm looking at it, and, it was all, and I'm remembering shit like, oh shit. There's a little little mark right here when I used to dry hump, and I got a little like a little scab from dry humping too much, or like oh shit that vein looks fucking huge. Where the fuck that motherfucker? Co- Penises look weird. I'm just saying. For y'all women to put your mouths on that shit, I commend y'all. I swear to God, y'all some fucking troopers. I mean. <laughs> We, the, the guys like, okay, guys going down on girls. That's the clitoris is, is a little mini pee pee. We got we got to remember that. It's just a woman didn't drop the ovaries didn't drop the, the, all that shit. I'm just saying. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just saying we're awesome troopers because I got that tongue game. We, me and Big Dick Cow already talked about it. Uh, my tongue game strong. My dick game, not so much, but my tongue game strong. Just say, let's get back to this. Are penis like eggplants are penis like? There's so many penis looking things. There's not a lot of vagina looking things. You know. That's true. So like you that's see true. pussy for the first time, and you're just like, whoa, like <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> what, what? Circles, sweetheart. Do you even know what a pussy looks like? This girl just says circles look like vaginas. Man, circles, you could have said bro? roast beef. Have you ever looked at like the Olympic logo and be like, damn, that's five <laughs> pussies all stuck together. Like, <laughs> fucking circles? <laughs> Take this girl off the house more. Have you not looked down there? <laughs> that shit does not look like circles. A pussy does not look like circles. Circles? Pussy ain't even circular. Right? It's more of like an oval kind of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He knows. You don't know. Hey. I learned this term from somebody when I was in the service. The little man in the boat. You know what the top of the shit look like, but you don't know what it actually is. So you saving yourself a marriage? You're not saving yourself a marriage? You just being an asshole? Oh, you, what the fuck? So when do we- So you just not fucking, just not fuck. Oh, hell no. Honest opinion. I, I am, and I don't want you to feel pressured at all. I mean that 100% sincerely. It could happen any time. Homie, pretty- it's coming. It's coming, bro. If he's down to just kick it with you for a year without any sex. That's pretty cool. But here's the thing I'm worried about. Before we get too excited. His dick Where are you going with this? Trash. Oh! Hey, that's how you gotta make it up with that tongue game. Tongue game first, make her come, and then put your trash ass dick in there. That's all you gotta game, do. Right? <laughs> that's that's the way of the world. Just say it. As long as your tongue game strong, it's okay. Hopefully. And then you wasted Fuck. a whole year. I'm just hoping you I don't give y'all bad advice. The first month at least, you gotta let him get over that. Don't you saying no? But let's be honest, bro. No, you're not. You think you got this? You gonna crank it before? Oh yeah, you got to no, 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 don't play on me. You got no, no, first, no. Huh? Got to get a couple of rounds out the chamber right, and you then don't you go in there without clearing nope. the chamber. No, nope, no, nope, exactly. You wait a whole year, That's you what I just click, said. Click, boom before you I go just in said there? it. If I waited a year, I'm gonna disappoint you severely. Yes. The second yes. I put it in, I'm gonna be like, sorry. <laughs> it's like. Ugh, yeah. I, it doesn't usually happen. No, you're gonna hear the best apology you ever heard in your life. <laughs> <laughs> it was just too good. Maybe it'll make it feel better if you come to see. I'm just saying. Nobody apologizes yeah. better than dude. It happens. Come fast, yo. Because we try to fold it into a compliment. We'll be like, oh my god, I'm sorry, it was so far. I couldn't. Oh my god. I told you. You just said it. It's oh, your yeah. fault. It ain't even our fault. It's your fault, right? I just couldn't control myself. Everybody's a liar. There was a lot packed into this. Don't fall. Don't fall. Um. Okay. I 
Andrew Schultz touched upon some topics that we need to discuss. Sometimes men, when you stick a penis in a vagina and they haven't had sex for a long time, it doesn't last very long. Is it our fault? Maybe we could have prepared for it a little bit more. But we don't know if it's coming. No pun intended. Oh man, okay, so I gotta start. All right. <laughs> Why do I have to tip over on this shit? Okay, so I was in Mexico, and this girl I hadn't seen fucking years, years, because shit happens, but we'd been on and off for like 16 years. Um, we hung out, she's telling me the whole time, nothing's gonna fucking happen. I got over you, all this bullshit. The lies, the eyes don't fucking lie. I knew that was bullshit. It was just gonna take me some time playing the game, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that it was gonna happen sooner rather than later. So I went home, started, you know, pranking that motherfucker. I was like, damn, I get no pussy tonight. God damn it. And as I'm doing that, I get a call. I don't know if y'all know this. You take less time beating your dick than when you fuck. Like, cause you know your stroke count. If you know your stroke count, you know what you need to do. Like, mine is like, like it's a whole little thing, right? And it also depends if you got lotion, you don't, you dry, you know, it's, it's different, it's different. So I get a call. What you doing? Nothing. What's up? <laughs> she goes, can I come over? I'm like, oh, fuck. So at that moment, she tells me, can I come over? I'm thinking, should I finish? Because I don't know if you guys, women or men, some, I don't know, um, don't know. You need some recovery time after you come. So I don't know if it was going to be able to get up as soon as she, you know, she's probably like five minutes away. So small ass time, five minutes away, right? So, I'm like, fuck. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, come over, fuck it. So I hang up, I'm like, shit, should I finish or should I? Nah, you know what? Don't finish. You a little tipsy. You can handle this shit. You've been in worse situations and shit. So, I'm like, okay, you know what? Fuck it. Just calm your eyes down. Breathe. She gets there, shit starts popping, you know, start kissing, blah, blah, blah. And get it to you. Like, I used to love this fucking girl. Like, mm. And she fought as like that big old booty. Like I was like, oh shit, this is not gonna go well. So I'm like, I gotta put a condom on to desensitize a little bit. That'll help me like two, three minutes. You know, where, where the shit. I stuck that shit in. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> this shit ain't gonna go well. This shit is not gonna go well at all. So I did the old school trick, right? Where you bust, you just keep going. It's like, it's like a, but you still like jamming in and they're like, uh, uh, uh. It's like hey, I'm still trying. And then this bitch wants to change positions. I'm like, once you, once you pull that motherfucker out, ain't no helping you, man. She goes, oh shit, this hurts so bad. You came already? I was like, I gotta be honest with you. I was beating my dick before he came. I, I explained the whole thing. She's like, oh, it's okay, man. I felt like shit. The round two, though. I made it up on round two. I made it up. So I'll give myself props for round two. Round, I lost round one. She, she beat my ass round one. Round two, got the KO. Did my thing. From then on, everything's good. I don't know why I told you that story, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe comment down below. Uh, thanks so much for letting us come get this. This is your original set card design stage. Joy needs a foundation. Bye. Peace out. How was that one?